words, they matter. Hello, everyone. My name is Catherine Garcia, and I am a third year student in the Honors College, which I was recently informed that our keynote speaker, Grace Fire, also studied in. I am majoring in biomedical sciences with the plan to attend medical school. Even though I have been a student at USF for three years now, every time I walk on that campus, I think that I'm living in a dream. I have to pinch myself because throughout my childhood, I dreamt of attending college, but it was a dream similar to that of a child who dreams of being an astronaut and who has the rocket ship, but does not have the fuel required to reach outer space. I was blessed to be born into a loving, devoted, hardworking family. My parents, both immigrants, were committed to creating a different reality for my younger brother and me than the one they faced in their native countries of Cuba and Panama. Although to the outside eye, my family never attained the material success that many people use to define the American dream, we always had everything that we needed and everything that mattered. Economic uncertainty was our day-to-day -day reality. Underemployment, layoffs, drastic relocations to find work, the devastation of a house fire, depleted savings, a temporary and ultimately unsuccessful relocation to my mother's native Panama. Our family confronted and overcame every challenge that life brought our way. Through it all, with the leadership of my parents, my family remained focused. Every challenge was an opportunity to learn. Every obstacle, a chance to learn more about myself, what I could achieve in the now, and what I could become in the future. For example, as non-native English speakers, my parents relied heavily on me to translate from Spanish to English and vice versa. In a way, I was their voice. From a young age, I assisted with everything related to running the household. This included translating at the bank, to communicating with our teachers, to completing out completing medical forms. Some kids might view that as a burden, but for me, helping my parents with such important matters is one of the reasons I, was, I became a mature and confident child, a person that from a very young age was determined and focused to succeed. Back to the dream. As I entered American Middle School as a seventh grader upon my family's return from our ill-fated Panamanian adventure, our financial situation, <laughs> always precarious, hit a new low. Upon our return, our financial struggles were so severe that our family of four ended up living in what is generously called an efficiency apartment, which is really a one-room home in, which is smaller than the average conference room. Picture this, I went through middle and high school living in one room with my dad, with my mom, and with my little brother. Fortunately, there was a small bathroom that was separated from the main space by a door, and I shared that detail for a reason. You see, in middle school, my teachers discovered that I was pretty smart, and as I have already shared through my life experiences, I had become a focused, determined, resilient person. And then there was that dream. All of these elements helped me excel and ultimately earn a highly competitive and coveted spot in Robinson's International Baccalaureate Program. If I, if, for those of you that don't know about IV programs, I'll share. It is tough, it is rigorous, it is challenging. As I shared earlier, my parents were hard workers, and they, their jobs required them to wake up at four in the morning every day. At the same time, I was in IB taking college level classes that required me to work late into the night. Since my parents had to go to work early in the morning, and even a desk lamp in our efficiency would have disturbed them and my younger brother. This meant that many nights, I would take my book bag, go to the bathroom, and complete my schoolwork and studying in that small space, using the toilet as my chair and the sink as my desk. And I succeeded and I thrived under those circumstances. Throughout my life, Throughout my life, although my family has confronted challenges, we have never been overwhelmed by them. My family has always been very happy, filled with love, always united. Even when we lived in that small efficiency, we were happy because we were literally on top of each other all the time. 
Although my family has lived under the government's established poverty line, I have never felt poor or less than any of my peers. It is because of my family that I knew that college was finally possible for me. I was that astronaut. I had built that rocket ship, and I soon learned that scholarships would, def was, would provide the fuel I needed to reach my dreams. The dedication, hard work, and desire to succeed are the reasons I have been blessed to earn scholarships that fund my education at my dream school, USF. These scholarships include the Women in Leadership and Philanthropy Endowed Scholarship. I have been a WOP scholar since my freshman year, and I remember my first WOP event, an awards dinner. Being completely honest, I was intimidated that first night, seeing everyone talking, mingling so comfortably. However, as that night continued, and at every other event, large or small, I've encountered that everyone has been so nice and welcoming that my fear soon vanished. So back again to my dream. USS was always my college of first choice, because it is my hometown university, and I felt like a little bit of an expert when it came about the school. However, I have been and continue to be amazed by all the opportunities USF offers its undergraduate students. When I first came onto campus, I was surprised by how beautiful and large it was, but the opportunities I have been afforded are the two things of beauty. During the past three years at USF, I have served as a research assistant studying cancer cells, I have served as an honors orientation mentor, and I have completed the pre-health scholars program. I am currently in a maternal and child health internship, and I work part-time as a medical scribe in a local hospital. I value all the opportunities USF has afforded me, but WOP holds a truly special place in my heart. I am literally surrounded by accomplished women who invest in my life and who care about my future. Being a WOP scholar is so much more than receiving a scholarship award or adding something to my resume. It has allowed me to gain confidence in my potential and in my future. It surrounds me with other like-minded, hardworking students, and it has afforded all of us the opportunity to develop skills such as public speaking, responsibility, time management, and so many other tools that I will use in my future. I am so honored to represent my 130 fellow WOP scholars and offer my story today, especially since this symposium features our first ever alumni speaker, Grace Byers. Grace, as I learned, Grace, as I learned a little bit about your story, I saw many similarities, and I realized that if WOP had existed when you were at USF, <laughs> you might have been me. <laughs> I am sure that my WOP scholars would love to give you the status of an honorary WOP scholar. What do you say? <laughs> Since the scholarship I receive is funded through the WOP members' dues, each and every member has contributed to my education and to my success. I would like to thank all of our members for your support, because without you and other generous donors to the Honors College and the Latino Scholarships Program, I would not be standing here today. I would not be living up my dreams. I would not be giving a talk to over 900 people. I would not be an almost college graduate. I would not be achieving my life goals. You are all integral partners in my life, and the impact that you have had on me and 130 other WOP scholars will never, ever be forgotten. You are all so important in our lives, and I want to thank you for your generosity and your continued support, which is changing the lives of so many young women. So, for those of you who are not members of WOP, what are you waiting for? <laughs> in all seriousness, each of you can play a role in the transformational impact WOP has on students just like me. I'd like to invite each of you to take part of this amazing story of change. At each table, there is an envelope that looks just like this one. If you could please take this envelope and pass it around the table, each person can take out this card that looks, that's in the inside just like this. And please consider making a contribution to this wonderful organization. Help make a difference for women at USF and in the Tampa Bay community. 
I am sure that every dollar raised at this event will go directly to impact students. Please know that no matter the amount, your contribution will make a difference to people in the community and to students just like me. Thank you.